Continuing Section 1.8 on Quadratic Modeling, we'll take a look at Example 2. In the United States, the birth rate B for unmarried women in units of births per 1,000 unmarried women at age A can be modeled by this function, B of A. And notice it is a quadratic function. We're allowed to use technology this time to solve, but using our technology then to help, we'd like to answer the following questions. First of all, what is the birth rate for unmarried 20-year-old women? So I'm giving you the age here. That's the A value. And I want us to find B of 20. So let's see. Actually, let me just jot it down first. Plugging 20 in for A. gives me 55.76. Okay. Now we're talking about birth rate, how many births in a group of women. So probably it sounds a little bit more reasonable if I round it off, although since it's per thousand, I don't technically have to. But I'm just going to go ahead and round that up to about 56 to talk about it. Okay. So we're saying... The birth rate for unmarried 20-year-old women is approximately 56 births per 1,000. So out of every 1,000 20-year-old women, we're saying there are 56 births. All right, in Part B, we ask at what age or ages is the birth rate for unmarried women at least 35 births per thousand? So we want to know when the birth rate, B, is at least. That means greater than or equal to, right? 35. So B is at least, meaning it's at smallest 35. It could be more. Or in other words, negative 0.31a squared plus 16.54a minus 151.04 is greater than or equal to 35. All right. If I had to solve this one by hand, we could do it, but it would take a, a bit of work here. We would definitely have to be uh, getting this equal to zero and using a quadratic formula. And then because of the inequality, we have all of the related equation and test values. So it's doable, but it's a lot of work. Let's go ahead and use a calculator solution instead. I'm going to go ahead and put both sides of this equation, or this inequality rather, in my calculator. I'll have to use the variable x, of course. And let's see, as far as the um, window is concerned, we're talking about the ages of women, so can't be less than zero. And I'm going to say we're not going to go more than 100, scale of 10. And why is the birth rate? Um, we already knew up here it was 56, so we're looking at you know, relatively larger values. Let's try 0 to 100 for that as well, and we'll see what happens. Scale of 10 again. And it looks like we're okay. We've got it. And there's the 35. So the birth rate is the parabola. And here's the 35. And I'm just going to sketch this. And it looks like the birth rate parabola is above the line 
between those two x values. So I'm looking for this part that's above 35. In order to get those x values, I'll use the intersect feature of my calculator. So second calc, and then option 5 is intersect. And let's see, let me go over to the smaller intersection point first and then just enter, enter, enter. The x value there is about 16.1. Notice the y value 35, exactly what it should be on that line. And then I'll do it again. This time getting over close to the larger intersection point. Enter, enter, enter. And we're looking at about 37.2. So if we're talking ages, I'm going to round off to the nearest year. We're going to say birth rate for unmarried women is at least 35 births per thousand from age 16 to 37. And there's my sentence again, could stand on its own, even if someone hadn't read the rest of the problem. All right, and then the last part of this one, at what age is the birth rate for unmarried women at its highest? And what is that birth rate? So here's that birth rate parabola again. And highest, once again, we are looking for the vertex. We're allowed to use the calculator. So let's see. I don't need the 35 anymore. I'm going to get rid of that. And on my calculator, I'll go to second calc. And this is a maximum. So maximum. And I'll have to work a little bit to get my left and right bounds here. Let's see. I'm definitely to the left of the vertex, so I'll push enter there. And then over to the right of the vertex, enter, and then just enter for the guess. And it looks like about 26.7 for the x, and the y is about 69.6. Uh, so the precise answer would be the highest birth rate is about 69.6 births per thousand, 26.7 year old women. Now usually we don't talk about ages like that, so I might round a little bit and say that the maximum birth rate, maximum birth rate, two unmarried women, is about 70 per thousand at age about 27. All right, we'll go on to the next example in the next segment.